Are you selling products online with Shopify but want customers to buy again after their first order? If so, keep watching this short video. Shopify is perfect for creating e-commerce websites, selling products online, and tons more. But how do we keep people connected with our brand after their first purchase? Well, today we'll explain how Shopify store owners are growing their brands by converting buyers into lifelong customers. And spoiler alert, anyone can do this. But before diving in, please take a quick moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below. We always appreciate your support. So how do we turn one-time buyers into repeat customers? Well, the answer is simple. You see, you can drive more sales by automatically adding Shopify customers into your own member community website. Now, this is the most effective way to keep buyers permanently connected to your brand. And the quickest way to launch a community website is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, you can start an online community around your brand, allow customers to have profiles and interact with each other, send promo newsletters to your customers, and best of all, you can show off the size of the brand that you've worked so hard to build. So let's dive into the fun stuff, sending Shopify customer info into our Brilliant Directories website using Zapier. Now keep in mind, this will also work with other integration platforms like Pabbly, Integrately, and more. Okay, so here we are inside of our Shopify store looking to purchase a sweater. Now in this video example, what we're gonna do is we are going to purchase this sweater as a brand new customer. Then we are going to automatically create a user profile for this customer in our brand's member community website, which is powered by Brilliant Directories. And here is our public member community website where we can see that there are currently just over 80 different members inside of this member community. So to set this up, the first thing that we are going to do is head over here and log into Zapier. And once we are logged in, we are going to create a new Zap. So we are going to click on that and the trigger is going to be Shopify. So we're gonna select that. Then once we have that selected for the event, we are going to choose a new customer then we're going to click on continue. Next up, we need to connect our Shopify account. So we are going to click on choose. We are going to connect a new account. That's going to open up this little pop-up window where we need to enter the URL or the subdomain for our Shopify store. So if we head back to our Shopify store, we can see that mine is called jadedsample.myshopify.com. So what we want to do is we want to copy the part before my Shopify. So in my case, it's jaded sample. Then we're gonna go back to that pop-up and inside of that pop-up, we're gonna paste it just like that and then click on yes, continue to Shopify. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and connect our Shopify account for us. So we're gonna select that and then we are going to click on continue and then we are going to test the trigger just to make sure that the connection is working. And as we can see, it pulled in one of my customers. So we're gonna click on continue. Now, once we have Shopify connected, the next thing we want to connect is Brilliant Directories. So we're going to go ahead and search for Brilliant Directories. For the event, we are going to do a new user, create user, and then we are going to click on continue. Same thing as Shopify, we now need to connect our Brilliant Directories account. So we're going to click on choose. We are going to connect a new account here, and that's going to open up the pop-up once again. And this time we need our website URL and our API key. So for the API key, we can actually click on where it says API details, and that's actually a hyperlink that is gonna redirect us to our Brilliant Directories website and take us to the API keys section. Now, once we are here in the top right-hand corner, we are going to click on generate API key. That's gonna open up and ask us for a nickname, I'm just gonna call mine Shopify-Zapier and click on Save API Key. Now, once we save it, it's gonna go ahead and create our API key for us. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy that so that we have that copied and closed out of that window. And then we're gonna head back to that pop-up window. And inside of that pop-up window, we are gonna paste in that API key. Now, the next piece of information that we need is the website URL. And we can actually grab this from the same screen. So we're gonna go back here. And this time in the top right hand corner, we are going to click the visit website orange button that we see there. And that's gonna open up our Brilliant Directories website. Now, once we have that open, we can actually just copy the website URL in the address bar and then head back inside of that pop-up window. 
Once we're there, we're going to paste that in there. Now you'll notice after the .com, I also have forward slash home. We're going to delete that. All we want is the URL up to .com. Anything after .com, you can delete it, okay? So once we have that entered, we're going to go ahead and click on yes, continue to brilliant directories. And that should go ahead and connect for us. And we're going to head back inside of Zapier. And then we can see here that we have the Shopify dash Zapier API key that we created and it's connected. So we are going to select that account, click on continue. And now from here, we can map together the data that we are collecting. So in my case, for my customers, I am collecting their email address. So we're going to select their email and I am also collecting their first name and their last name. So we're going to go first name and select first name and then last name and select last name. Now, the best part is, is that we can collect any amount of customer information that we want to and automatically pass it from Shopify over to our Brilliant Directories community by simply mapping that data together here inside of Zapier. So if I was collecting their phone number, I would select their phone number here. If I wanted to pass along their address, I would select their address here as well. Now, once we have mapped together everything that we are collecting and everything we want to pass over to Brilliant Directories, we're going to scroll to the bottom and click on continue. And once we click on continue, we are going to test the action just again to make sure everything is synced up correctly. And once that goes through, we can see that our user was sent to Brilliant Directories. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and publish this zap and turn it on. So now it is completely active. And in theory, if someone buys from my store as a new customer, they are going to be automatically added into my Brilliant Directories community. So let's go ahead and test that theory out right now and make sure that it's working. So here I am inside of my store and I'm going to purchase this sweater and see if the customer information gets added inside of Brilliant Directories. So we are going to add to cart. We are going to check out. I am going to fill out the information with my email, my name, my address, continue to the payment and complete the order. And just like that, our order has been placed. As you can see here, our order is confirmed. All right, so now we're going to head back inside of our Brilliant Directories website, and we are going to refresh this. And once we refresh it, that customer should be automatically added inside of our community. And just like that, we can see Corey Johnson was automatically added inside of our Brilliant Directories community website. And there we have it. This is a must-have integration any Shopify store owner should set up. So if you are ready to turn your Shopify buyers into lifelong customers, just click the free trial link in the description below and you'll get instant access to start your own membership site and all of the growth strategies that we've got to offer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and look forward to helping you in our next video. Thanks for watching.